Before you go out and buy a new MacBook, there's a cheaper, easier way to give your current Mac a serious performance boost. In my case, I have a mid-2009 MacBook Pro that is so incredibly slow, I basically stopped using it. So the solution here is to replace my current hard drive with an SSD, or solid state drive. SSDs are blazing fast compared to hard drives, plus they're surprisingly easy to install. So let me show you how to do it. You'll need an SSD. In this case, I have a Samsung 840 Evo. It's 500 gigs, so I'm also getting a nice storage upgrade. A SATA to USB adapter or dock. In this case, I have a dock. Plus a screwdriver with a regular Phillips head and a Torx head. One will be used to dismantle the MacBook, the other will be used to remove the hard drive. And finally, you'll need a program called Super Duper. It's free, you can download it online and we'll use it to clone our hard drive. So the first thing we wanna do is dock the SSD. So I'll just plug it into here, it goes right in. Now we'll prep the drive by launching Disk Utility. Then we'll select the drive from the left sidebar. It should show up as 500 gigabyte Samsung. So we'll select that, click Erase. I'll call it Sharon. And finally, hit Erase. Once it's done, you'll see the new drive show up on the desktop under the new name, and now we're ready to clone. So I'll launch Super Duper. We'll copy the Macintosh HD to Sharon using backup all files. And finally, we'll hit copy now. At this point, take a break, go grab a bite to eat because this could take anywhere from 20 minutes to a few hours, depending on how much data you have on your current drive. The process is finally complete. It took us about an hour and a half. And if we did everything correctly, once I put that SSD in my computer, it should boot up as usual. So let's go ahead and do just that. On the back, there are 10 screws, four along here and a couple on each side. So I'll grab this Phillips head screwdriver and start taking it apart. Here we go. I'm afraid to see what's under there. Aha. Lots of dust. <laughs> so I do have some compressed air here. This is a really good opportunity to get rid of some of that dust. Now it's time to remove the current hard drive. So I'll use the same screwdriver to take out this bracket. That comes out. And now the hard drive should come out really easily. Be really careful here though, you do not want to damage this ribbon right here. If you do that, then you really will need to buy a new computer. Remove this connector here. Now before you put this aside, we need to remove four more screws, but we'll use the Torx head instead of the Phillips. Okay. You also want to remove this sticker and put it on the SSD so you can remove this easily if you ever need to take it out again. Now we'll replace those four screws and do everything in reverse. Whew, okay. Now it's time for the moment of truth. We'll boot up the computer. Now the first time you boot it up, it might take a little bit longer than usual, but once it's ready, it should be a lot faster with the SSD in here. Wow. iTunes and iPhoto launched super fast. My computer feels a lot more slick and I'm so impressed. It was such an easy way to boost my computer's performance without having to go to the store and buy a new machine. <laughs>